Brian and I uh, caught another movie on Netflix. Um, we watched Extraction, which is the Chris Hemsworth um, action adventure flick. Um, it's kind of like, well, I've seen I've seen several comparisons to John Wick. Um, I don't. It's not like the stories like John Wick, but it's an action very similar, very similar action style to it. Um, the story follows Chris Hemsworth. His his character's name is Tyler, um, and he's a mercenary. Um, he's a gun for hire, and he gets pulled into um, a um, into India to save the son of a Bangladesh uh, Bangladeshi drug lord. So it's it's Bangladeshi uh, Bangladesh's drug lord versus India's drug lord. Um, and India's drug lord has stolen Bangladesh's drug lord's son. Um, and you know, I once I think it's reversed. No, no, because uh, they're maybe. in Bang, they're in Bangladesh. <laughs> like when all the fighting and stuff is happening, he's maybe trying to get that, them out. Maybe I have that reversed. I will accept that. Um, something to that effect. Either one way. one yeah. direction or the other is what happened. Um, not required knowledge for enjoyment of no the movie. No. Um, so he goes in, he's sent in with a team um, to go save the son and, and bring him home. Um, little does he know that there are things going on behind the scenes um, because of, of money and, and whatnot that are going to give him grief um, as he tries to uh, save the kid. And, and, you know, he's, as he goes into this, he's a very, um, he's kind of a, just a, for lack of a better term, he's a dick. Um, he's just a mercenary. It's, all, it's a, he's all about the money. He's yep. got he things bad things happened in his past, um, and so he's become heartless and ruthless, and and he just doesn't care about people. He just it's all about the money for him. Um, and um, so he goes to to save the boy, takes the boy out, fights along the way, um, and that's that's the premise of the movie couple things about the movie that i found very 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 cool and brian and i have talked about this there is an 11 and a half minute single take action scene simulated yes yeah, simulated it's not, it's not completely but okay right. so they, they stitch it together but it's yeah. set up like one. it, it look it's pretty impressive dude yeah, yeah it's so it's so like imagine 17 level of uh for the scene pretty good for like, that spot. yeah there's a shot yeah. of, the, of the camera trailing the car and then it slowly turns around while like an explosion happens and then the camera gets in the car door as the car drives away and then goes through the back window and flips back like it's the camera it's work is cool pretty camera work. and that's all Thanks. in one continuous and i think the stitching is like when it gets in the car and when it gets back out the car but it looks it's impressive it looks pretty impressive it's a well yeah. done yeah. The, yeah so the director of this movie his name is sam hargrave Sam Hargrave is a stunt coordinator. Like, these stunt coordinator guys He's that done. make these action movies, yeah, yeah. they can he make action a lot of, movies. He was a stunt coordinator for Avengers. He he did. Um, he, well, he works with the Russo Avengers. brothers a lot. Russo brothers, and they well, and they the one of the Russos produced it or wrote the Joe wrote it. Yeah, Joe Russo wrote it. Um, and so Sam Sam has done production. He did production on Harley Quinn. Uh, our stunt coordinator Harley Quinn. He did he yeah. did a he's done a lot of it. This is his first major directorial debut if i don't think it's his first directorial debut but i think it's his first major i think it is his he's done shorts he's done shorts up to this point but, but extraction is is his first major one um he's actually one of the characters in the movie um he's the sniper in the movie of chris Hemsworth's oh, team that's yeah cool. that's him yeah so he's like he's in the movie for a little while um there i saw a behind the scenes video <laughs> the director is strapped on the hood of the car for one of the scenes that's cool. he's a stunt I, coordinator I believe it. Yeah. yeah and he's I mean, strapped he's on the hood done. of the car and he's he's doing the camera during that 11 and a half minute scene he's doing the camera on the hood of the car it's it was really even if it's not a real like 11 minute one take it's it's the, impressive the way that it's well it's, done. it's it's almost it's and it's an all-timer i think as far as like yeah. action <laughs> scenes go yeah, it's it's, it's cool. impressive. It's if it if it was in theaters, to me that action scene would be worth the price of admission to go see in a theater. Yeah, I agree with, with that. High price. It's good. And and there were some. So there's a lot of hand to hand to hand combat in this. Multiple hand to hand combats. They all looked good to me. I wasn't mad at any of them. 
Um, they weren't John Wick style. Well, you know why? That, quite that well. It's because you can see you're not you're not cutting every three yeah. milliseconds. You can mm, see when right. somebody throws a punch and somebody gets hit, right. and the camera's not trying to obscure the fact that these people are fighting. Like you can well, see part the of that eleven and a half minute is a hand to hand combat yeah. scene. And it's it's done really. It's a well. car chase, a gunfight, a hand to hand combat, a, a chase through the a building. Like it's it combines a yeah. lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, Chris Hemsworth is very very good in this movie from the action standpoint. Acting wise, it's not a it's not a difficult role. I don't think from an acting standpoint because he's you know he's gruff the entire time, doesn't talk a whole lot. You know, so it's not an overly complicated acting s- scene. Um, one of the things I did read about, though, is there's a scene where he jumps into a quarry um, full of water. And in the scene, he's sitting at the bottom of this quarry and he's like meditating yeah. as he's sitting there. He actually Chris Hemsworth actually sat in the tank for two and a half plus minutes to do that scene. Like they said, the the one the one quote I said is that they literally got the shot twice in the time frame that he was down there holding his breath. And then they told him, all right, you know, you can come up now in about two and a half minutes. And they said, even when they told him to come, to come up, he's just sitting there just kind of <laughs> keep rolling, just enjoy. chilled for a little bit longer. He just sat there a little bit longer. <laughs> but they said the, uh, the, that's two and a half minutes is about four times longer than that's your long normal, time. Uh, <laughs> normal person adult does it for. So um, it's pretty impressive. But overall, I, the story wasn't. Wasn't the greatest story. Oh. I destroy my setup here. Um, the story sorry, wasn't headphone the, users. Sorry about that. Uh, wasn't the greatest story, but it was a good story. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the fight scenes. He has the one major fight scene is with a guy. I've never seen the guy before. The other, and he's awesome. The the Indian actor, his counterpart, right? Like yeah, throughout this movie, yeah. yeah. He, I really like that hit that guy. He's, yeah, he's good. He's really good. Um. I don't know who it is though. Uh, I, I did recognize him. It, he's a rival. He's a rival assassin kind of guy. Like yeah, he's also he's the right hand the man kid. to the guy in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it does have David Harbor in it, which I thought was a real. There was a really cool fight scene actually between Chris Hemsworth and I David Harbor. I was not aware he was in this until he showed up. I did either like, hey. until I saw it. Yeah, um, but I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the movie overall. It was very entertaining. Um, the action scenes were very, very well done. I like this movie. I was impressed with it. They're talking about doing a second one already. Um, mm. and so I, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit, Brian. I liked it. I th- I think to its detriment, it, do- it doesn't do as m- enough with the scenes and the characters outside of the action scenes than, than it does with the, act. like the action scenes are a plus 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 material. Like nice. when Jared's saying John wick level, I think, it, or, so it's very much i was gonna ask like is this like kind of like that john wick style yeah, of like it, it's just action and just it's not quite fun. like the gun fu kind of thing that yeah. they do in that but it's it's close it's got like, that kind of pacing it has that kind of pacing um when you when you similar to the fight to the hand-to-hand combat when you see the gun combat you're seeing shots and you're seeing bullet impacts you're not seeing them in two separate almost like an old western where you see one shot of a guy firing and then the other shot of the guy like, Ugh, dying. like it's all it's all like in rhythm Ooh. and you can in camera and, and all that stuff. And a lot of the action, I believe, is is done practically as well, which helps a ton uh, with making you believe that the, the stuff is happening. Um, but I, it doesn't do enough with the with the characters. I think Chris Hemsworth is really, really good in it as well. I, I agree with Jared, but the kid, I don't care anything about the kid, really. Um, the kid's a nervous Nelly. I would I would like to have seen even like because he's a kid of a drug lord. You got to at least get some. It would be interesting to have some idea what that is like other than him yeah. just, you know, being a kid. And then they have like his, a heart to heart in the middle in of it. Jail, and I don't think I mentioned that his dad's in prison, which is one of the main reasons why he got kidnapped is because he didn't really have protection. Of and him. I and I think you could have a, a cool little dilemma there, too, if like. Because the things that this kid describes about his home life in the movie, whatever he, whenever he does describe it, it's not that much. But it doesn't sound like he likes it very much. But the entire movie is about getting him back to his dad and to his family. So it's like, could there be something more there where maybe the kid doesn't want to go and you have to figure out like some other solution yeah, to kid. it? And, and 
work that Let's angle. Put a little bit of nuance or something in like that, but I, it doesn't do um, its characters justice. I don't. I don't think the only person that really grows or you learn more about it all throughout the movie is Chris Hemsworth's character, but it, even then, it's kind of like just a very little bit. Um, so the 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 actor, the Indian actor, his name is uh, Randeep Huda. Um, okay. so I'd never seen anything. No, he was the one character I will say, Brian, is it you're kind of what you're talking about? I actually felt character development with him. He had some interesting scenes between the conflicts of, of saving the kid, the conflicts of saving his family, um, the interactions with his wife, barely, I felt like a, a little barely, I, they, they pay lip service to it, but I don't think. I don't think there was as much that you I felt that one a little bit more than the others. We made it, you made a comment and I wanted to talk about this uh, on the show, but you made a comment off the show about it did everything like it was, it was trying to be an action movie. It wasn't trying to be much more. And, <laughs> and I don't know that I'm like fully on board with that concept. Cause I think you could still be a great action movie and then also yeah. put the work in to make the other parts of it good as well. Um, overall, I, even, even so I really, really enjoy this because the action scenes are that good, but it doesn't really have that emotional hook to me. Like if you're, if you're comparing this to movies or a smash up of movies, it would be like John wick with, um, man on fire. Only if you didn't, hmm. if you didn't build up the relationship, uh, with the mercenary and the kid, mm -hmm. um, okay. but you had all of John wicks really cool action kind of thing. That's a that's a that's a good point. So, yeah. um, but still, and, and to look, your point, I I think that as I as I reflect on the movie and I, about it after that comment I had made to you, I do think they did attempt to to put some relationships in there and make it a little bit more than an action movie. So, to your point, they could have done more to that. They could have they could have yeah. pulled that out. You know, they tried to create a relationship between Chris Hemsworth and a female that was yeah. like running the job. They they tried to they There's did try to create there. a relationship with Chris and the child. They tried to create a relationship and and I I think they did a little bit better on this one than what Brian does with um uh, Randeep the act the character's name was Saju um with Saju and his family. Um so there was there was an attempt there and and to to Brian's point, I don't think it uh, I don't think it panned out the way they wanted it to. Um, I'm sad I couldn't see this on the big screen. That this was a Netflix. I don't even know if they were even considering releasing it on theaters. But um, I don't think they were. I these think action this scenes would have been so good on the big screen. Um, and the only other thing I'll say is that the title of it kind of reminds me of a um, like if you were go to Blockbuster, like what are those? Um, but it, and you would look through the the DVD aisle or whatever, and look at the direct to DVD stuff. It reminds me of like a direct to DVD kind of movie. Like you'd see this and it would star um, like John Cena before he was a movie star or something like that. And it was like, Oh, or this like, is uh, a, I the, know that the Marine. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick up this movie. It kind of oh, reminds me of uh, the $5. I love the Marine. Marine. Kind of reminds me of something like that, but um, it's, it's much better. Than what was the other one? 12 rounds, 11 rounds, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, those were good. I enjoyed both of those with, uh, with John Cena, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of way wet. But yeah, I recommend this. If you like action scenes, it, it, this movie is 100% worth it just for the action. One other thing, um, it is extremely violent. Like obviously yes. the, the action is... Kids movie. Is, well, no, yes. I mean, you can have gunfights <laughs> and not have it be like brutal, but the action scenes are brutal in this. And yes. also I think there, it's a touch, it was a touch problematic for me um, with just the sheer number of nameless faceless people that he kills that a lot of these people were probably just like police officers that were just doing their job and then like well no, no affiliation to the drug lord or anything like that and then there was whacked. corruption though there was corruption that they at that the they top levels but i don't know it, that yeah. every single like low level grunt is in the, on them you're you're right i mean and he, and he kills a ton, you've always got he the kills grunts a ton that... of people <laughs> Yeah, yeah there's people. always the grunts that, uh, that I mean, get, he is a mercenary, get. right? There's a little gray area too. Yeah. Well, and that's compass. the thing is that's that, that, and that's what I talked about. He's about the money. That's what he's about. And so he does a job, gets his money and moves on. Yeah. He doesn't care about the collateral in between.